Okay, so my project was to model the 30 St. Mary Axe building in London. I'm going to start by looking at my curtain panel. Uh, this was made by uh, editing the rhombus surface in the family uh, creation window. So you can see that I uh, swept a diamond shape around the edge of the panel to create the diagrid system. And then also within that panel there's a sub panel that I made out of a rectangular surface. So if we ever go over to that sub panel we can see that this panel was made by sweeping a, cir a circle around the edge of the panel and that creates the mullions that are in the little sub panels. So I loaded that sub panel into the main curtain panel and then put the curtain panel into the project mass and here we can see the project mass with the curtain panel applied. And you can see how the diamond that I swept around the larger curtain panel creates the diagrid structural system and then the smaller panels are also there So now we're going to look at some of the parameters that you can adjust on my building. Uh, I made the shape using reference circles and I added parameters to those reference circles so you can adjust the diameter of the building. So here we'll change the middle radius to 150 feet and we'll see what happens when you change that. You can see that the building bulges out. So that's one of the things you can change. You can change the, the lower diameter and the middle diameter as well as the top. So going back to the normal shape. We can also adjust the size of the curtain panel grid. Right now it's pretty tight but I can make it a little bit bigger. So we go 10 and 10 on the UV grid and apply. And you can see the pattern get much bigger when you do that. So that's yet another parameter that you can change on uh, my mass model. Now we'll go ahead and look at the mass model. After I loaded it in the project, I made a site plan uh, with the road and a parking lot, and then uh, inserted my mass model and put mass floors into the building. You can also look now at one of my floor plans that I made. There's a, three elevators in the middle, and then a larger office and conference room in the middle. There's a conference room with a curtain panel and then the rest of the office space just dedicated to kind of common use in smaller offices. Finally we'll get to look at some renderings and screenshots.